going on guys got a brand new 4k blu-ray review for you guys today and that is for jurassic world fallen kingdom Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom picks up a couple years after the original Jurassic World. And man, I, I had a blast with that first Jurassic World. And Fallen Kingdom takes place as the island's volcanoes are about to explode. It's a Chris Pratt and Price Dallas Howard to save the dinosaurs and bring them back to our civilization, I guess. There's other things within this story that I do think that the trailers really did hide within this movie. Now, if you guys had seen my review originally for this movie, you guys knew I was kind of in a bit on the middle on this. I love the first half of this movie, but the back half of the film kind of felt a little bit too silly and cartoony, and I didn't like that. That's not what I want on my Jurassic Park movies. It's still a fun watch, and I, I'm, I'm going to stay away from spoilers, so if you haven't watched the film yet, don't worry about that you're safe here. Putting aside what I thought on the story, I want to review the 4K Blu-ray itself. The sound, the visuals, the audio, what it all sounds like, because that, that's what you guys want to know, because how does it transfer back to home? What it transfers back to home? Well, it sounds great. I'll tell you that the audio in here is great. Hearing the animals and hearing the dinosaurs just storm down, especially when that volcano is going off and you hear them all running. My room was shaking when the bass was just bumping it you know you it feels like they're all around you and i love that that was one of the best things in here in the original film was the sound mixing and the sound editing it all sounded superb and it just got you on the edge of your seat in those aspects I mean, director J. A. biona does such a good well as directing he's really good if you've never seen his film monster calls or the orphanage i cannot exaggerate enough to go check out those movies those are two superb films and the impossible which also stars tom holland and ian mcgregor makes this film and i think that's one of the highlights of this movie is his directing style i think it's one of the strongest directing in the series overall really over topples a script that's very weak in its essence who which was written by Colin Trevorrow which I like the guy he's his first feature film was fantastic Jurassic World I thought was a fun time but I didn't think it was because of his script it was just because we get to see dinosaurs rummaging around which is cool to see in here dinosaurs the visual effects are beautiful I think they're even better in this one but I think Jay Biona really was hindered down by this script because the story is so strong in the beginning, but it just breaks down by the end and it doesn't go back to that same essence that I wanted. Even though there's some nice callbacks and horror vibes to the original Jurassic Park that he brought in here, I really like that. Uh, that the last, and I've always thought that this film, if the story was shifted around a bit where some things were changed, where the ending was more in the beginning and the island aspect was towards the end, I think it would have made for a stronger film in the aspect. But given that's a little bit hard to do because the way this film ends, it does set up for a sequel, which I like the idea that they're setting up. Again, no spoilers, but I do like that. Going into these 4K Blu-rays, when it comes home, you're going to want to know what special features are on here. But let me tell you, a little bit disappointing in the special features category. To be honest, the only thing in here that I found the most interesting out of all the special effects was the Fallen Kingdom of the Conversation. It's just essentially a roundabout table discussion with Jay Biona, Colin Trevorrow, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Jeff Goldblum. A lot of just kind of visual effects kind of nonsense in there. There's nothing really cool with the director's commentary where it gives you so many small little details and whatnot. It just goes into the visual effects on the dinosaurs and interviews with certain cast members and the cast and crew just going about how they made the film or what was their favorite parts and just generic stuff that you can kind of find on YouTube. Look like this, if you were a fan of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in the theaters, this is the film that you should pick up. It, it's the best way to watch it at home. The visuals, the audio in here are fantastic. And if you didn't even see the film and you're wondering, ah, I don't know, I heard some bad reviews, I still would recommend to try it out because the film is amusing at that. It has a really fun story at times, even though it gets a little bit cartoony towards the end and a little bit too crazy for me. It still is a serviceable, fun time to watch some dinosaurs wreck some havoc. You got Chris Pratt and you got Bryce Dallas Howard, who are both great leads. One of my favorites in the franchise, but it definitely is a fun time so guys with all that said i'm gonna give jurassic world the fallen kingdom a c plus pretty sure that's what i gave it in my initial review but this is a c plus overall for the 4k blu-ray that's just my thoughts i wanted a little bit more from the behind the scenes i was hoping for that since the film was a little bit mediocre in my category with the story but still a serviceable watch i'm looking forward to what they do in the franchise next but guys what are your guys thoughts on the jurassic world fallen kingdom 4k are you guys excited for this film are you not Tell, comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on it. Did you like the film? Are you going to be picking it up? Let's talk about it. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films. Also down below, because right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie series. And also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. Of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.